words at last night's school board meeting. For more on that, here's News 4's Brittany Smallwood. Jordan and Diana, emotions ran high last night as school board members in the community tried to find a way to provide the best education for students while balancing the budget. They ironed out a second budget last night, but some still think it could be tweaked. The parents in this school district do not care about their kids' education. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. Then why are, we, why are we not having parents show up? Peters, I believe it was said that we're not going to be derogatory towards each other. We are going to be professional in this, this meeting. Right? You I'm just insulted my parents, my parents right, sir. Right. That's what you right. did. School board member Christopher Peters quickly corrected himself after the altercation, but it proves how the school budget is such an emotional issue for the community. The Niagara Wheatfield Central School District will now ask taxpayers to vote on a revised budget for next year. Plan B calls for a 4.5% tax increase, eliminating a team of teachers from the middle school to save $300,000, reducing support staff across the district by another $130,000. But it's unclear how many positions that equates to. School board member Richard Siriani was the only one to oppose the cuts. He asked for a tax increase of 5%. Personally, Steve, I think the cuts are too big. You start cutting more teachers, you're going to increase class sizes. And that started a debate between board members. We've got to look at areas that aren't going to hurt the kids as much. And the other areas that you're talking now, get into sport, sporting programs, music programs. The only way you go is you, you pump up the 4.5% of them. If this second budget fails, Niagara Wheatfield's contingency budget could cut kindergarten to a half day. It would eliminate elementary and middle school music, get rid of interscholastic sports, and $487,000 in staff reductions. The next vote is June 18th. Reporting live in the newsroom, Brittany Smallwood, News 4 Wake Up.